What's up guys? Got a unboxing video for you guys here today. As you've noticed, I'm standing up. My phone is almost dead, so I have to leave it on the charger here. So I decided to go full Canyon Bickle and stand up and do a video talking about some vinyl, uh, which again, rare commodity for me. So whatever, man, let's, cut, let's hop on into it. This is a package from Old Mill Productions out of Ontario, Canada, which is a stellar, stellar label of which um, I will be working with to release a limited tape run of one of my albums, uh, the Tony John full length, A Long Gone Memory. Uh, hang on, this one. This one, we're gonna do a limited tape run. Um, and it's going to be real sick. I'm really hyped on it. I really, really like a lot of the work that they do with their material. So I am, uh, yeah, going to be unboxing some stuff. So the first thing that I got, oh, also, Ancient Sorrows by Fen. I've been in a really folky black metal mood lately, and this is a really good EP from this uh, English, I would call them almost like an institution of the kind of folky atmosphere of black metal style. So this first thing I opened, not realizing what it was because I was expecting another package of a similar size and, you know, dexterity. So this is a really sick Old Mill Productions t-shirt i really really like this one um he did like a poll on his instagram story and he's like what's a better design and i voted for this one and then it wound up getting printed and you got to choose the color so i'm really hyped on that really really like that um kind of vintage agricultural design and here is a box of records from the old old mill distribution Obviously, they shall be linked up in the description. Duh. Always. Try not to cut myself. Maybe I should have got myself somewhere to put my stuff. So, first thing I got here is a CD. This is the band Harul Vigne uh, with Baragi Gat. This is like a folk project that is absolutely awesome this so basically if you don't know old mill it's mostly like uh metal and folk music that's the main shtick that they go for which obviously that's my kind of thing and this is a himalayan folk project of which i am awesome or i think is really awesome and i am super hyped to get to show off me and this dude are following each other on Instagram. He posts a lot of cool stuff. It's really, really interesting music. I am indeed a fan. And uh, yeah, go check this out if you guys have not listened to this. It's just, it's different. I don't know how to describe it because the Far East is so different musically than what we're used to here in the West. I don't know, man. So that's sick. Uh, here's a couple LPs. Super hyped to have all three of these. So this first one here, I've been on, like I said, I've been on a really folky black metal kick, and this just like came perfect timing for me. So this is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the album name, but this is Crota. Crota is, of course, one of the textbook great Ukrainian black metal bands that there is. And this is uh, one of their full-length records. Uh, I'm not super familiar with all of the Crota material as it's not something that is necessarily incredibly readily available at any point in time to have, really. Um, a little staticky label, or a little staticky record. Label's weird. I kind of almost thought it was a misprint for a second, but it is absolutely not. Just nice black vinyl, pretty simple-looking labels. But the Crota has this kind of, uh, obviously it's Eastern Europe, it has this kind of jumpy funness to it. They have albums like uh, Fimble Winter is a great, great record. I listened to another one yesterday while I was out shoveling and I completely forgot I got this one. And then it shows up on the doorstep and here I am super, super excited about it as one should be. Uh, obviously I'm breaking the rules of no resleeving on camera, but I could not care less sincerely. Uh, yeah, Court is great. No inserts, nothing like that. Yeah, go check that out if you have not 
listen to such things. This is a awesome, awesome album that everybody here should be familiar with. I mean, uh, Nesbeth by Demolich. Absolutely top tier, way beyond their time kind of avant-garde, almost progressive-ish death metal. Um, I showed you both sides already. Here's a nice little lyrics sheet. I was under the impression that, like, I thought this band made up their own language for their lyrics, but it does not look to be that way since this is definitely English. Um, it's definitely some rather esoteric imagery that they're using, but it's definitely not a made-up language meant to simulate uh, aliens, which is whatever. I <laughs> That's kind of a cool idea, uh, but definitely not completely necessary. Just a little black sleeve. Ooh, furry. So, side A. Semi-translucent red vinyl. Classic fart. Side B. Yeah, I mean, what's there really to be said about Demolich that is... Is it Demolich? Demolich? I've heard it pronounced multiple ways, and isn't it supposed to be like the Cthulhu thing where like our tongues are supposed to be like chopped into 10,000 pieces to be able to properly pronounce it or some crap like that. Uh, whatever it is, it's awesome. I really, really like this band. I really love this album. And this kind of whole avant-garde death metal thing is really something that I think is really cool. I mean, obviously this is a huge inspiration on stuff like, uh, like Portal. That would be something I would consider to the important for this whole style itself and uh yeah there's not much more to be said about Demolich. i mean you guys know this band come on now the last one man i was beyond friggin excited to get this one dude this is like this album is super super important for my journey into black metal it's something that i got really really into really early on and to be able to hold a vinyl copy of this right now, dude, and like, you guys know I'm not a huge vinyl nut. This is like something super, super special for me and I'm just be over the moon about it. So thanks again, man, for the sweet deal you hooked me up with. This is Curse by Woden's Throne. I can't believe I own this, man. I have the CD, which is obviously awesome in itself, but like, the fact that I have this is just wild to me. So, we'll go through this gatefold here lyrics on the inside nice and beautiful kind of matte first off just look at that artwork absolutely love this is dark descent uh i believe a dark descent reissue so let's pull uh the the first lp out of there just make sure there ain't nothing fun in there just regular black insert nice and thick with like five c's 180 gram vinyl looks very very nice this is actually the second lp um they're in the opposite sleeves which is whatever it's just this is one of the most gorgeous atmospheric black metal releases i have literally ever ever heard <laughs> just like the fact that this isn't bigger is wild to me black vinyl again you guys know what it looks like i just like to show off the labels and also do it upside down so i myself look really stupid um but this album i kind of this one and loss are two things that i really have like a immediate connection to based off the fact that i got really into these when i was first getting into black metal like when i was like binging all the count black Earth videos back in 2014 2015 or so and he held this in really high regards and i know i mentioned count black Earth a lot on this channel uh but obviously it's very very important for my for my musical taste i would say and um this is just like a stellar kind of almost more aggressive not really folky atmospheric black metal album it does have some folky tinges um, but it's definitely more based in the black metal side of things, you know. I would akin this more to Druk rather than Crota or something like that. Um, yeah, it's quick, it's fast, it's atmospheric, and it's a whole mess of fun all at once, man. So, yeah, 
that is one's throne with the album Curse. So that is going to be my Old Mill Productions unboxing for you guys here today. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this quick little update. I'm going to try to get a couple more longer videos in. Or do you guys prefer these shorter videos? I have no idea what you guys are thinking. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep it greasy. What's up guys? Back here with the second part of this video. Um, I filmed the first unboxing a day or two ago. And now I'm going to real quick film this um, second part of the update. I got a package from my good buddy Steve s and Young, which is going to be down in the description. Obviously, you guys better be watching Steve. Um, Bone Hunter in the background. Sexual panic human machine. Been in a black thrash mood, which is pretty normal. Uh, I would say I would listen to a lot of black thrash. So he and I proposed a trade with one another uh, for a couple things specifically. And then uh, I realized I don't really listen to too much of my cassette tapes. And I have some cool stuff still. I had some other cool stuff, uh, uh, but I decided to trade it to him. I think he would get a lot more love or he would give them a lot more love than I have been, especially because a lot of them I already have on CD, and I'm much more inclined to listen to a CD rather than any kind of uh, any kind of tape, I would say. So we decided to hop on the trade wagon. All right, I finally got this bad boy open. Oh, so. He told me he got a second copy of this. Uh, this is Excuse, Profit from the Occultic Cosmos. This is like a thrash metal band. I don't know where they're from. Uh, they might be, I, I have like an idea in my mind that they're some kind of Northern European band, but I also might be way off because I only like gave them a quick listen on Hell's Headbangers because I know that this was uh, in, on their most recent like 333 CD sale. Uh, I don't know tons about it. I do know it was pretty decent. And he said that he got another copy. So I figured, yeah, I'll snag it if you don't mind. Uh, so I'm excited to give this a good listen. I always keep hype stickers, as you guys know. There's the CD, cool cover. Excited to jam this guy here. Hopefully it's a, uh, I'm sure it'll be a satisfying listen, I would say. I'm not going to go through the booklet or anything. I don't think that, I don't think that's necessary. This Bone Hunter release is really good. It's a beautiful day today. It's like 51 degrees right now. Friggin' summertime, basically. Ooh, we talked about this a little bit, too. So, this is Pertinence's members of, or member of Immortal Damnation. Now, I have a CD copy of this already, but this one comes with The Crown Waits the Immortal 7-inch for 91 and The Pertinence Evulsion Demo from also 91. And I didn't have either of those. And I'm fairly certain the copy I have is a of Russian bootleg origin, as my buddy ordered it for me when we were in high school. Yeah, uh, it's this demo. I'm sure you guys have all seen looks really nice very very hyped to have this one thanks Steve maybe I'll have to pass on that other copy or something to somebody we'll see won't we Ooh, pertinence yeah so if you guys haven't listened to pertinence it's like a, a Finnish death metal band with some pretty obtuse stylings to them they have a really odd way of writing riffs and a really interesting uh, interesting style to them nice so two things i got these were the two things that i was originally hunting for and i'm beyond beyond excited to have officially become the proud owner of philosophem or philosophum by burzum as you can see i'm a big fan as most people tend to be um you can tell he's a record collector because he doesn't store the LP in the jacket. So, double LP. I was feeling that and I was like, man, this is the thickest vinyl I've ever seen in my life. 
Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I always love that inner label of that ship. Same on all four. Looks really, really nice. This is one of those back on black represses. Same inside as the uh, CD I have, really. No, nothing else in there. Just want to make sure, nothing to show. Yeah, you guys have all heard this. There's nothing I can say that has not been said 50,000 times. And um, the last thing for the day, this is, how do you, in the hours beneath by an Efrens. I really love an Efrens. I have the first EP right up here that if you guys know Travis over at Lyrici 17, he gifted to me uh, a while back and I have not bought anything since. So now I have this full length on LP. Very exciting for me. Let's show the let's show the record. Ooh, it's like uh, kind of grayish, almost bone white kind of looking uh, LP color. Semi translucent, as you can see. Look at that gorgeous label. I've been on a vinyl kick, as you could tell from this video, and I've just been scoring all over the place. So this is like a, a doomy atmospheric black metal project, originally out of Montana and now out of um, Minnesota, which is very, very fun. I shouldn't say fun, it's a very heavy and emotional band, but at the same time, it's also not the, you know, it's not boring to listen to. That's more of what I was getting at. So on here, uh, he gives it, you know, a thanks to Marty Worm, Austin Lawn, uh, Andreas over at Nordvis. Good track list, or a good, good thanks list. And uh, yeah, just enjoy this. A beautiful, beautiful album cover. So I'm going to call it a day on this then. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of two smaller videos put into one. I was thinking of putting them up individually, but I was like, it, nobody wants a six minute video. And 10 minute videos are okay. But I'd prefer to, you know, stick around a little longer, maybe. Uh, unless you guys want me to shut up more often. It's up to you. Just let me know. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Keep it greasy.